All right, what's up, everyone? So today, this whole gameplay, this whole video is probably a little bit confusing to you guys because you guys are thinking like, "What goes banned? Why is he still making a Project Slayers video?" Well, um, I'm making this video just because I made a poll recently and I asked if people want to hear my final thoughts on the game's current situation. And most people voted yes, and you know, a lot. Of, some some people voted no because, and which is understandable because I'm banned. Like, who cares what I think? I'm I'm banned. Like, I, it's not like I can change anything. But I just want to speak my mind about like what's going on right now. So, as you as a lot of you guys may know, if you guys are still playing the game, the game has four thousand players, which is not surprising by any means, just because. The, the game's been like this, the ga like the game has dropped to this amount of players every single update. Every single update they drop at, at like, they, I don't think they, every single update they, they reach like a peak of five players, like after a couple, a couple weeks after the update. And this update is no different. And I feel like this in, this update in specific is actually kind of baffling that it's, it's performing this bad simply because this update has trading trading should what you call it um keep a lot of players in the game you know like preparing for the next update trading should keep a lot of players in the game but they, but it doesn't i feel like if it weren't for trading the game would be down to three two thousand players now now why is that you know like why is this game so low in players all of a sudden it it, it reached like 80,000 players at one point did it not but now it's at 2,000 4,000 potentially 2,000 and the only explanation I have for it is the developers now I won't say the developers are bad because then people are like oh you're just saying that because they banned you from the game and like blah 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 I'm I'm not going to say that they don't know how to handle bans, because yes, I acknowledge that they, they banned me for a valid reason, okay? I accept that. But, they don't know how to promote and push and keep a game alive. Now, um, Project Slayers released on, I believe, June or July of last year or the year before? Last year. June, no. Yeah, June or July of last year, okay? And their their one year anniversary didn't go by that that, that long ago. And um and then yeah. On release they I think they peaked at like two hundred thousand players, which is insane. That's insane. You know, we know Blocks Fruits is like a worldwide sensation. It has like four hundred thousand players ish. 400, 300,000 players ish. Bloxburg is the biggest Roblox game with like 600,000 ish players. Project Slayers at 200,000. A third of the biggest Roblox game. Okay? That's insane. And they had the update lasted for a little bit. And then I believe before update one, it dropped as low as 2,000 players, I believe. Okay? And then I th think in November. Correct me if I'm wrong. November, update one dropped. How long of a difference is that? Let's let's count. Let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they released in July rather than June. If they released in June, this is even 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 more insane. Let's assume that they released in July rather than June. That means they took June, July, August, September, October, November, six months to release an update. That's insane, but whatever. Okay, the game released. They're still they're, they're they're still new, you know. Maybe they don't have as big of a development team as they wish they would at that time. Okay, the game was new. Update one point five came around. Right. Well, a little bit before update one point five came around, the game dropped down to like three thousand players. Okay, one thousand player improvements. Now, update one point five comes around in i believe you know what let me check actually let me check let me check when update 1.5 released update 1.5 released on may 19. now let's see how long that was november december january february march april may seven months okay seven months that's insane okay 
then their one year anniversary comes around in June or July. I don't fully remember when it released, but their one year anniversary comes out. What did they do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not a, not even a sneak, not even a showcase, not a, not an update, not even an announcement. Not even an announcement. Oh, happy anniversary to our, our shitty game that we don't know how to keep alive. Not even an announcement in their Discord server. Okay. And knowing the update 1.5 released in May 19th, how long has it been? How long has it been since update 1.5? Let's count. May, June, July, August, September. Five months. Okay. So let's recap. Game released, 200,000 players. Drop down to 2,000 players. Okay. Waited six months for the first updates. Okay. After the first update, drop down to 3,000 players. Waited seven months for half an update. Half an update. Okay. Games anniversary comes around. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. Five months in, can't get the other half of the update. Nope. Five months in, nah. We're still working on half the updates. That is insane. That is absurd. Now, what 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 is all this for? What am I just saying? The game just cannot keep itself alive. And now, games like GPO, okay? The GPO isn't doing much better, okay? GPO is maybe at 5,000 players, okay? But... The thing that GPO has to deal with is the fact that they don't have mobile support. Okay, and now this is not me glazing GPO just because I play it now. This is, like, objectively true. They don't have mobile support, which means that they can't cater towards a, as large of an audience as Project Slayers can. Project Slayers has mobile and PC. And me, being a former Project Slayers YouTuber, I can tell you, a lot of people play mobile. A lot of people DM me, do you have any tips for mobile players? Do you like do you know do you know how you can help me? I'm a mobile player. I don't know I don't know much about PvP. A lot of people ask me. I mean a lot of people DM me saying that they're a mobile player. I know there's a lot of mobile players in Project Theaters, okay? And yet it still falls behind GPO. So what is GPO doing better than Project Slayers? It releases events on holidays, Christmas, Halloween, anniversary. They release events they communicate with their audience for you you know i won't say that he uh, like makes announcements often in the discord but he makes announcements at least more often than oa or any of oa like for you alone makes more announcements than oa and his whole staff team on the project Series discord combined that's insane now why is the game just falling down so much every single update the updates are so one-dimensional and lackluster every single update they think the same formula is gonna work new new breathings new BEAs, and a couple new mechanics blah 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 that doesn't work we want to actually be able to do something gpo has battle royale gpo has factories gpo has crews coming up soon and like raids and stuff gpo has all that stuff what is what do you do when you're maxed out in project slayers do you play pvp no because there's a bunch of sweats in the game you know that ruined the pvp for other players do you do dungeons for what you're maxed what do you benefit from doing dungeons if you're maxed do you trade for what you're maxed what do you need to trade for it's it's not good it's not good see with gpo you could do PvP, be oh, mostly because now you're going to say, oh, but GPO, there's going to be sweats too that, you know, destroy your PvP. The GPO skill ceiling for PvP is much lower than Project Slayers. Much, much lower. Much lower. And so, a lot of people can compete with some higher tier GPO PvPers. Some lower tier GP GPO PvPers can still compete with higher tier ones. Because it's not that big of a difference. GPO, the PvP is kind of easy. And then you can also play Battle Royale just if you want to do something a little bit different. 
GPO has a lot more stuff to do. And now this is, video isn't about why is GPO better than Project Clears. This is about Project Clears. Okay. And now I've been ranting about like, you know, a lot of stuff that I haven't really provided a solution for. Okay. So if I weren't to, you know, provide a solution, you know, my English teacher taught me an argumentative, you know, an argumentative essay must have a counterclaim. Okay. So how can Project Slayers fix this? One, communication. Okay. Communication. Before update 1.5 dropped, there was a little bit of a error, a little, like, I think one week error where OWAP actually communicated with his audience i know it's crazy it's crazy he actually communicated with his fans with his players he actually communicated and what did that result in the game went up to fifteen thousand players just through communication communication alone can get can do do that for you that's that's insane okay two in update zero okay when the game just released they did this one mini update, okay? The game was dropping in players. They released this mini update. What, what did the mini update have? They released the stylish Hillary, the fox mask, and the stylish mask, okay? I think this is called the stylish mask. I don't fully remember. Whatever mask is like that blue and black thing, whatever that is. They released that. What did the game do? Jumped up to like a couple, a couple 10,000 players. That's insane. Just through doing a mini update. How long did it take you to make those three items? No time whatsoever. How long did it take you to code those three items? No time whatsoever. But how much did it benefit your game? Tremendously. So what I think Project Slayer should do is release these mini updates, okay? Release these mini updates. Communicate with your fan base. And you would be surprised what would happen, okay? And now I'm not going to talk like some Project Slayer developers watching my videos. They're going to see me show up on their recommend them like this th this bum's banned bro why, why, why would we watch one of his videos so whatever but you know you guys could share this video with developers do whatever you want i don't care i'm just here to speak my mind to speak what i i believe you know um i'm just gonna put it out there i'm gonna put it out there right now i'm i play project there's on an alt alt account developers do 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 whatever you want you can't do nothing to me you can't find my alt account good luck trying to find it I'm just not making content on it, but, you know, I'm still playing on it. So, you know, catch me if you can. Good luck. But the thing is, despite me playing on an alt account, you know, you guys would assume, like, oh, this guy had champion items. He must know life of the game. I play the game maybe once every two weeks. Once every two weeks, maybe do, like, two or three PvP matches. Because the game is just so dead. The game is just, you open the game, like, oh. Oh my god, bro. What am I going to do today? Oh, I know. PvP. Now, for me, it's a little bit better just because I can actually compete in PvP, you know. But a lot of casual players, they can't. They have to deal with these sweats. Sweats like me. So, it's just... It's just not a good state. But yeah. Sorry about the whole rant in this video. I just felt like I need to speak about something. I saw um, Uno2. He made a video on it. I was scrolling on my recommended... Um, no, 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 not Uno 2. Oh my god. Not Uno 2. Um, of Saints. Of Saints. I don't know how you say his name. Like, of dot Saints. Whoever it is. You guys, you guys actually, if you're going to share this video with anyone, share this video with him. Shout out to him. I, I, I he makes kind of like NPC content. No offense if, uh, of Saints, if you see this clip, no offense. Your, your content is kind of NPC-ish content. You know, like what I got from blah, 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 I'm on a chest. But, but I really like your video about talking about the state of Project Slayers. It inspired me to make this video. Not copying, I, I admit. It was inspiration from him. So yeah, inspiration from Of Saints. Shout out to Of Saints. I really I really like that video of his. But um, yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about. Um, if you guys want to, you know, see what I've been up to, you know, you could watch my last couple of GPO videos. Um, new GPO videos coming soon. Uh, updates are gonna be uh, uploads are gonna be a little bit quicker since I figured out how to edit myself. And um, yeah, join my Discord. New GPO uh, giveaways coming soon there. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Next GPO video.